Good afternoon. I am Deepak Fatak from IIT Bombay and I wish to speak to you about some experiments that we are doing with MOOCs to bring them into mainstream education in India. We have a peculiar problem of quality to be obtained amongst large scale and too much of diversity. We have a low gross enrollment ratio so that we have only about 25 million students in the higher education system. We wish to enhance this number very significantly because we have more than 350 million Indians who are 14 years or younger. All of these people seek an opportunity to learn. The desire of every individual learner is to acquire skills, knowledge, eventually leading to livelihood. More importantly, every learner would like an opportunity to learn at one's own pace, about one's own interests and in keeping with one's own abilities. Sadly, the established higher education system in India, which offers regimented syllabi and give degrees at the end, respond rather differently. The response of the system is, look, only our degrees are recognized and therefore, you will have to do these degrees as we dictate. Sadly, this means that every student who wishes to acquire a degree needs to go through the same kind of learning process, the fixed pace, the fixed duration and the fixed syllabus. Massive open online courses have arrived as all of you know, we are here to discuss in fact the MOOCs. Now, these give an opportunity to learn courses from the best universities and these give an opportunity to learn from the best teachers. Obviously, a large number of learners are interested in utilizing these opportunities. When MOOCs gets recognized truly, when the society and employers find out that they do not need their future employees to have regular degrees, but their knowledge and skills can be independently tested and the employment given, then there could be a turmoil and a disruption will occur. The point is, there are some shortcomings of MOOCs and therefore, we suggest that if we could blend these MOOCs with the conventional education, we could come up with a far superior learning experience and education system for all. This is what I call the constructive disruption which should happen in our minds. First of all, the shortcomings include non-recognition of MOOCs marks and that is the reason why a large number of uh, learners who are regular students studying the same course somewhere else give up the MOOCs study after some time because they do not find value of that certificate as a recognition towards their own degree. The second problem is that MOOCs have a total absence of face-to-face -face interaction. Traditionally, a face-to-face -face interaction whether within the groups of students or with the students and teacher, these have contributed significantly to the learning experience and learning process. There is complete absence of these. The discussion forums which are available online have a rather inadequate power to replace this face-to-face -face interaction. Last and not the least, particularly for technical courses, lack of laboratory work is a major impediment in using MOOCs as the sole provider of knowledge for such subjects. It is in this context that we will look at the MOOCs offerings and some of the technological innovations that we have made in India. These are the MOOCs from IIT Bombay X. This effort as you might know is based on open EDX. Work on Swayam, which is supposed to be the national portal, is progressing quite rapidly and we should soon have an announcement to that effect. An important paradigm in our teachers training program is the T10KT or 10, 10,000 teachers at a time project. It is interesting to note how we run the train 10,000 teachers project. The 10,000 teachers of course are not assembled physically at one institution but they come together at 
300 plus remote centers that we have established. The mechanism of a two week training workshop in a subject is as follows. In the morning, the teachers from IIT Bombay offer interactive lectures to all 10,000 participants. We have a two way interactive audio visual connectivity to all the 300 remote centers. In the afternoon, the participating teachers conduct laboratory sessions and practical sessions under the supervision of a local workshop coordinator. We have found that this scale up has been very effective. We have trained over 100,000 teachers in last two years and we will continue to use this method. Please appreciate that this model itself uses both face to face interaction during the morning interactive lectures and local face to face interaction for labs and tutorials in addition to complete online activities using devices such as Moodle and now the IIT Bombay X. To ensure that the standard of tutorials and laboratory conduct is exactly as it is done in IIT Bombay, we actually conduct a special workshop for the workshop coordinators two months ahead of this main workshop. Here is an example of coordinators workshop where we grill all the remote center workshop coordinators in the way in which tutorials and labs could be handled and then when they go back, they set up those labs accordingly and in the main workshop where the participating teachers assemble at each remote center, they conduct the tutorials and practical sessions. Here is an example of teachers assembled at a remote center, typically 35 to 40 teachers assemble at each remote center in this workshop. Why I mention this in details is because our model of the blended MOOCs approach for education is based on using our experience in face to face interaction with teachers and students at large number of remote centers and our experience of running MOOCs on EDX as well as on open EDX platform. In this approach, we provide face to face education plus learning through MOOCs. The institutions which participate in this effort will continue to conduct their face to face teaching but in a slightly modified way. All their students will simultaneously register for the same courses which are offered as MOOCs courses from IIT Bombay. The local teachers will use MOOCs as a complement. They will be encouraged to start using flipped classroom and provide a much better learning process for the students. The most important part of this model is that the local teachers will award weightage to both the scores, scores in the assessment conducted locally in the college or the institute plus the scores obtained through MOOCs. They may, if they wish, supervise or proctor online examinations for which we will suitably adjust the conduct timing of the quizzes on a weekly basis or a fortnightly basis. We will roll this model out this academic year. We expect more than 25 institutions to participate across the country. We are starting with three basic engineering courses. We expect more than 30,000 students to benefit from this effort amidst about 200,000 students who we expect to enroll as normal MOOC learners across the country. This is an exciting experiment because if we can establish that the MOOCs credits are recognized as part of their regular learning towards degree, we believe that this could become a model for future hybrid education combining MOOCs and face to face training. The initial results are expected by December 2015. We are circulating a summary page containing this information. We eagerly solicit your comments, suggestions and advice. Thank you.